dramatic music. We are back in Japan. Here is an update video on what's been happening and what's coming up for the channel because um, it's been a bit quiet lately. Today is October the 2nd, 2019. We've actually been back in Japan for uh, a few weeks now. Um, and <laughs> it's so cute, they're ducking behind. Um, so we've actually been back in Japan for a couple of weeks now and I did film a sort of update and announcement video uh, just before we left, or rather before I went to California for the Apple event. And I watched it back and I must admit, I sounded really drowsy and potentially even high or I, I don't know, it, it didn't come across very well because I was so tired. Um, and then of course September's been hectic so I've just got a few things that I want to kind of talk about, a few iPhone 11 things, um, updates on the channel, and of course, the announcement to the Art in the Heart 2019 filmmaker competition I had running uh, for the winners, because uh, it's been a while and I feel awful about not making a public announcement about it. So September was pretty hectic. After the Apple event in Cupertino, I then flew out to Japan and almost immediately, I started work on a sort of mini documentary thing. So I've been making a film about uh, craftsmanship in Ishikawa and Gifu. So they're two prefectures in Japan famous for handcrafted products. Uh, you may have seen on my Instagram stories, I've been putting a lot of effort into those. Yeah, that was a pretty jam-packed trip um, and I was filming an awful lot on the iPhone 11 Pro as well. Um, so of course this is the device that's been loaned to me from Apple and uh, I've been featuring it a lot. Um, I've not got any sort of requirement or any contract or anything with Apple. It's just I personally am loving shooting with it. So I'm just being transparent about that. But yeah, I've been shooting with it a lot. I've got some ideas of some things that I want to film. Um, been filming a lot in Osaka. Spent, uh, what do we do, like a week there or something. A little day trip to Kyoto. My dad's in Japan as well. He's here for the Rugby World Cup. There's a lot of stuff going on. And um, yeah, I'm creating all sorts of things, but I've just been desperate to talk to you guys and uh, just kind of say what's coming. So with that iPhone video, I'm looking to release it once I've filmed some more in Tokyo. So we've only really been back in Tokyo for a couple of days or so. Um, so we've been featuring other Japan areas. Once I've got some Tokyo content, I think then I'll be ready and I can share what will hopefully be some good shots showing the filmmaking use of the iPhone, because um, I've been enjoying it so much. It's uh, it's a really good update for video. And of course, with it being the Rugby World Cup, um, it was always strategical that we were gonna be in Japan during this time to release Japan content because the rising tide lifts all the boats or something along those lines. Um, but let's now talk about the Atanaha Filmmaker Competition. Um, I've even just noticed we've got the Japan team behind us. Uh, they've been doing very well, by the way, in the World Cup. Yeah, so the Art in the Heart 2019 competition. So if you're unaware, if you're new to the channel, uh, first of all, hey there, welcome. Um, over the summer, I ran a competition uh, inviting people to submit entries of video of about two minutes in length, sharing something that they are passionate about. And I must admit, I was overwhelmed with the entries. So both Ellie and myself watched all through uh, all of those entries. There were so many people that entered. A lot of people had those public as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave those linked in the description. So if you wanna watch the playlist of all of those public entries, then that's great. And um, yeah, even some of them made Ellie cry and you guys went so deep. Like you just understood the brief and the narrative and they were really, really good entries. And it took a while, but we've come down to our three winners. So we've got the overall winner and then two runners up. I also just wanna thank you guys for the support that you gave to those entries and in particular to Carl. So Carl, you went and commented on almost every single video with something positive, constructive, and it just shows how connected you are to the community. Um, so Carlos from Vegas, I really appreciate that. It doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the first runner up. So I've actually communicated with all of the winners and I've arranged the shipping of the prizes and the products. So that's all being dealt with. Um, but to let you guys know of who the winners are. 
our first runner-up. She made a video about a passion that I am also very closely connected to, and that is Rubik's Cube. So Andy actually created a video shooting quite a lot in the first person view, which was very unique amongst most entries. It really caught our attention just on the perspective of things. The narrative was great, just being able to consistently flow through and tell the story. And of course, it was a very interesting and unique story to tell about how a Rubik's Cube can be used almost meditative, meditatively to help with distractions from work and to just kind of get the brain cogs moving and just get it all flowing in the right direction. So I really love this video. Andy, you did a fantastic job. And of course, you have won the Joby Gorillapod mobile rig and the Manfrotto Lumamuse LED light, along with the Musicbed subscription. So all of those are on their way to you. Um, and thank you for entering. It was an incredible video, I really loved it. As I keep mentioning, all of the videos that were entered were outstanding. They were so good. Our second runner-up that has won the Joby Gorillapod 3K and the Lumamuse LED along with the Musibed subscription. This video tugged at the heartstrings so much. I felt so connected to it. It's from a guy called Mikey Elephant based in Israel. And it is of course about the woodworking techniques for making spoons and teaching the craft to other people. I loved the outward perspective of passing on such a passion and creative knowledge to other people. And one line in particular is that it's not about the spoon, it's always been about the trees. And I just loved it, I loved it so much. It was such a great thought-provoking video and you have so much care to give. Um, so Mikey, thank you, I really, really loved your entry. Um, and congratulations for being our second runner-up. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. And now for our overall winner. This video had a narrative that kept the curiosity high throughout the whole video. The whole we were watching it, we were just thinking, where's this going? What's the story about what's happening? And the whole thing just came together. There was creative thought to it, the direction. There was clearly some teamwork of people working together. There was so much planning and involvement throughout the whole thing. It just stood above and beyond and I, I really, really love this video. So this is from Om Bagul, who is based in India, and uh, the journey of carrying a briefcase that, to the viewer, we are unknown of until the very end, uh, to a location sharing the art and the heart. The whole story was actually filmed on a smartphone using very limited technology available, and it just proves that if you have the right story, the planning, the creation, you can make something amazing. So. Congratulations to you, Om. Um, you have won the Panasonic GH5 with the 12 to 60, the Lopro Protactic 450 bag, the Manfrotto B3 Live tripod, the Rode Video Micro, the ProGrade SDXC card. So you've really got a full kit uh, available to you. So now you can take that great storytelling and improve on the quality of the production just on a raw output. But to be honest, you're already in a great position and for those of you who are unaware, Om is only 17, so this is a huge thing. I really hope you go on to make more videos and that this is a great kickstart for your filmmaking career because I know you want to be a filmmaker and I'm just so happy to be able to play a part in this and uh, to help kickstart some things. So I've already been in touch with the winners and uh, prizes are on their way. Um, so massive congratulations to you guys who've won, uh, to all of you who've entered and of course to the brands who donated some of the products uh, for those prizes. A big thanks to everyone everyone involved. Um, I'm so happy with how this has gone down. It was really, really heartwarming. Right, so what else is on my list of things to mention? Um, some other things that we've got coming up. Um, so I just kind of want to mention about this channel. So going forward, I may not necessarily be doing the same style of like travel vlogs and those uh, sort of follow me around type things as I've done in the past. Um, not to say that I don't want to do those, it's just those are likely to now be on the Jelly Journeys channel. Um, so go and subscribe to those. Uh, we've already filmed a couple already and uh, those will be going on the channel very soon um, with an intention to make more. So think of things like the, the West Coast road trip that we did. Stuff like that is potentially now going to be on Jelly. Um, 
as a bit of an experiment, really, uh, on this channel what I'm looking to make is stuff that's a little bit more dedicated and thought out and just kind of a higher production value and stuff that maybe falls more towards the technology side of things again. It's been a while since I've made a load of tech videos and uh, yeah, I'm just changing things up and just seeing how it goes. Um, so go and subscribe to Jelly. Uh, that is where Ellie edits all of these. Currently scoffing. <laughs> I don't know what you're eating. Um, but Ellie edits all of the videos on Jelly, um, so go and give some love to Ellie and um, yeah, subscribe to there, hit the bell notification, you'll get notified of those. So that's what's kind of coming up for Jelly and for this channel. Uh, I've got that documentary style video coming hopefully December time I think, it's going to take a while to edit but I'm really looking forward to getting through that. And uh, those iPhone 11 filmmaker videos which should be very very soon, I know I keep teasing those um, but they are coming soon. So I did also film a night photography video, I did it in Osaka rather than Tokyo and um, I think that should be quite good so I'm probably going to be uploading that one next um, which was pretty great and what else is coming up? In November I'm going to be heading back to Adobe Max, I'm very excited for that, that was probably the best event I went to last year. Um, so of course there's a lot of travel and I should remind you uh, because you know September or October there's been a lot of flights um, and I generally don't shout about this too much but it's just a, a little reminder to you guys that yes I do fly a lot but I do also offset. A lot of the times when I book my flights the airlines I choose I generally try and choose uh, planes that are newer ones such as 787s and also they have at the booking process the ability to donate to carbon offset funds uh, which I always do. So I just wanted to make that little reminder to you because I have a passion of you don't have to shout to be heard but at the same time I am flying a lot and I'm very conscious of that. And finally one final mention. Next year I'm doing a photography trip with Brendan Vanson, uh, if you don't know him go and check him out on YouTube. Um, so we're doing a photography trip to Morocco. Some spaces have opened up recently um, so you can actually go and book to do this photography tour. So it's going to be my first time in Morocco, I'm very much looking forward to that. The trip is in March and uh, if you want to get a spot on there then uh, check out the link in the description um, to book your place on that. It's, uh, it should be a good one, I'm, uh, I'm excited for that. So. Yeah, I think that just about wraps it up. Let me just double check my list. Meetup. Let's do a meetup. I'm going to be doing a meetup in Tokyo whilst we're here. So we're here for another, another few weeks or so. Um, I don't know the actual date yet, but I will be posting it on my Instagram. So I will do a poster as usual for a meetup in Tokyo. Uh, if you're interested in that, then, um, then do check me out there. It's very difficult to know exactly where, but I want to do somewhere that's kind of central, that's sociable, uh, but maybe some photography related things, um, but it can be difficult to do a photo walk with this many people in an area that is already populated. So without knowing how many people will turn up, it's a little bit difficult. So I think a meetup might be the best. Um, but anyway, that's everything. Sorry this has been a talky update video, just with more promises, but I, I can guarantee you good things are on the way and uh, it's nice to talk to you, it's good to see you. So I will see you in a new video soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.